All right. This is a plaque sample. Two weeks post-op of CO2 laser perio pocket de-epithelialization and close flap sulcular debridement. And uh, it's been two weeks. We've got our patient back in the chair, and we've taken a plaque sample on the distal of 31. Uh, generally, that's been a really, really hard uh, area for this patient to keep clean. It's hard for most patients to keep clean. And we're going to see how she's doing with her irrigator, uh, baking soda, and electric toothbrush and see if anything's come back. Um, really don't see too much of anything out of the ordinary. In fact, this uh, plaque sample looks pretty minimalistic. Let's go to another part of the uh, slide and see if we come up with anything. Right here looks like there is a spirochete, for sure. Although it's very different than the preoperative slides as far as spirochetes go. Uh, this one's pretty slow tumbling. It doesn't look like it's very aggressive. It is um, one uh, so far that we've seen. A little white blood cell there that kind of poked out at the corner. Uh, some brownian motion of some little looks like um, might be super gingival uh, bacteria um, very limited in what we're seeing here and basically I'm really scouring this slide to try to find proof of anything just to see how this patient responded to this type of therapy uh, with a CO2 laser from light scalpel the face contrast microscope magnification you're looking at is 400 times. Again, this slide is so different than the preoperative slides. I think it's almost uh, a given that we have definitely changed the oral environment and the places to which these uh, gram-negative anaerobes can hide. That is not a spirochete. Red blood cell. Let me focus this a little bit. Yeah, that's better. So it looks like we have a barrage of epithelial cells. Um, usually at the corners of these epithelial cells, you see a ton of movement or uh, bacteria of any kind and just don't see too much of anything, really. There's a little bit of movement there. No spirochetes, though. Uh, looks like there's a rod at the 3 o'clock position there. It's kind of just kind of bouncing back and forth, a little brownie in motion. Again, just a bunch of epithelial cells, but I really don't see uh, the spirochetes or the trichomonads that uh, were present um, um, pre-procedure. A little white blood cell there. I have to say I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing. I was expecting to see. So far I've only seen one. Um, there's a little bit of a water channel here. There's movement inside this water channel, but that is not a spirochete. Doesn't move like one, doesn't look like one. Again, a little something moving, but that's not what we're looking for. Red blood cell up at the top there. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I would expect to have some changes. So let's look at what the preoperative slides look like in case you forgot. Uh, this is pretty crazy compared to what we just looked at. Um, spirochetes of different thicknesses, different coils, just everywhere. I mean, you don't even have to really move the 
the uh, stage table to look around the slide at all to, to find them. They're just they're too numerous to count. And then going up to a thousand power again, they're attacking cell remnants and um, a very very different slide preoperatively than what we saw um, two weeks post op slide. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope this helps some other dentists and periodontists out there with phase contrast microscopy and CO2 laser um, perio pocket deepithelialization and closed flap circular debridement. I'm happy to be able to offer this to my patients. Um, the results are pretty amazing. And again, this patient did not have much in the way of pocketing. She had, she was all ones, twos, threes, had a couple of fours. Um, and I want to show you uh, what her, um, the gingival tissue looks like after two weeks. This is how our pres patient presents today. Uh, two weeks post-op laser th periotherapy. Um, tissues look really pretty good after just two weeks. You can see um, the buccal side we treated looks really, really good. Move over to the left. Still has some healing, but everything in generally looks pretty pink and nice. This area on 10 and 9 uh, looks like it's still kind of granulating in a little bit, but looks good.